P.S. I'm not insane. I had my my mom had me tested. But what? Um, insane. I don't, actually I don't really like that language, but that's okay. What is F five? Da 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 da. Anyway, uh, let's get to this game. So the game is called Wild True Learn. Yeah, and you can uh, grab it on Steam. Uh, so the blurb describes this as you are a machine learning specialist. Hey, hot topic these days. Huh. Uh, who make who makes neural networks? But your cat seems to be better at it. Now you must solve puzzles to build a cat to human translation system. Earn a fortune by kick butt cat outfits and learn how machine learning real really works. Um, okay, cool. Nice. Whatever. Uh, let's play the game. All right. Yeah. I could have moved my seat, but I'm not gonna because I don't want to. I'm lazy and I'm very frustrated <laughs> right now. Anyway, hey, let's play the game. Ah, tutorial. Ah, okay, to become a programmer, you must master your art of turning the computer on. No. Press and hold the flash and triangle and drag to connect the power outlet with your PC screen and keyboard. When it's done, press power button, uh, and that will appear on the upper screen, right part of the screen. Congratulations, you're almost a programmer now. find out I drop it Dick. power on you need to plug in the hardware to start working why why do I need to that's gross um, continue well, um, let me connect here Ta -da. let me connect yeah that should do it. time to cross the fingers and turn the power on I love the little cat. The little cat has little has little night vision goggles. Hey, it's Windows 95. Or wait, was it 98? Which one had the rolling hills? I think that was 98. Computer's on. One more step to be a programmer. Oh, look at that cat. That's awesome. That cat is so cute. Um... This guy is this uh, this uh, skinny guy is doing his thing. There's an air little bug on there. Look at that guy. Grab your copy, put it down, then put it, pick it back up again. Then go out in the cat, get some more coffee. Oh boy, do I know that feeling? Do I know this feeling? I do. The cat is curious. Cat, very curious cat. Do up there playing so here we got a cat and the cat's being curious and the, and the programmer's like oh what are you doing the build successful how yeah yeah what did you do did you do that Holy zeros and ones. If only I could understand what the cat has to say, meow. I guess we'll have to find out a way to recognize your speech, meow. Goal, cat speech recognition to-do list. Google it. Cat overflow, cat overflow. Stack overflow, stack exchange, I love it. Uh, overflow, blip, 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 blip. And then the cat's sleeping, of course, on the thing. Continue. Uh, enter a name. No. Uh, my nickname is going to be... No. Nope. Jack. Hmm. Jack and Cat. Oh, 
I don't recognize animal speech. Yes, I'm not insane. I had my my mom had me tested. But what? Um, insane. I don't, actually I don't really like that language, but that's okay. What is F five? Don't rush ahead of yourself, Doctor Coder. If that is, are you a really are you a real doctor? Are you a real doctor, Dr. Coder? Don't rush ahead of yourself making a device uh, that could able to detect a cow would be a nice start. You can work with video sounds, etc. when the time is right. Uh, hey, a couple of days ago, I've been reading about how expert system can be applied for detecting animals around in chatbots. The newspaper was called Deep News. I'll be sending you my copies once I'm done with them. Welcome to your workspace. This is where programming will be. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to. Um, so this seems to be the interface in the game seems to be all over the place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this. This is quick and dirty. It's kind of gross. All right, so we're going to work with this. <laughs> I have to fix it because uh, my camera is getting in the way. Uh, all right, so welcome to your workspace. This is where programming magic and bugs, mostly bugs, is born. To begin, drag an expert system node from the right, well, from the list on the right. So the expert system node, this is called a, a node. So I'm going to drag this over here. Drag the connection line from the starting node on the left to the expert system node on the right. If you want to delete connection, place your mouse over the line and press the right mouse button. Ah. Um, weird. Uh, and then we do photos with cat, photos with no cat. Click test run to check the scheme works perfectly. So the camera does inputs. There's cat, there's no cat. Run complete. Final result star time spent 21 out of 26 nodes used one. I don't know I don't know what the metric is, but whatever. Uh, okay, cat cat stack over stack exchange stack overflow. I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, hey yeah. A couple of days ago, I've been reading about how expert system can apply applied to detecting animals and writing chatbots. Deep news. Hey, I've tried that expert system and it hardly makes any sense. Squares are floating from left to right. Is that what the fuss is all about in machine learning? Are you guys actually working there? What's going on? F5. This is called visual programming. My fellow dude. I like that word, dude. Um, I learned recently that in American English, dude, guy, and a fella uh, are not appropriate terms. It, if, if you call, so, so I guess in the old days, dude, guy, fella was uh, male. Um, and it, and if you use that term, it, it's supposed to make women feel left out or ignored. And if they're left out and ignored, it means it has the it, it, it implied meaning that they are second class in the conversation. They are not important in the conversation, um, which I think is hilarious because I call everyone dude. I call everyone guys. Guys, 
guys, hey, hey, stop chatting. Let's get back to work. Huh. Right. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, yes, this is how it's supposed to work. The expert system analyzes the data input from the camera and checks if there's a cat on them. No, it's not what machine learning is all about. It will get hardcore soon enough. We're going to do this for maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, five more minutes. Uh, because I'm, I'm learning a lot about, well, I'm learning about machines and machine learning. Uh, well, I'm not very good at it yet, apparently. When do I actually start building a cat translator? Um, don't rush it, friend. You gotta master your machine learning ninja skills first. I'm working as a freelancer, and the amount of contracts is crazy. I'll forward you some jobs that I don't have time for. It'll help you get on your feet and earn some cat bucks as well. Check your mail now. Yes, you're still paying for the servers, though. Uh, Dr. Coder. Hey, Jack and Cat at Cat Meow. Noob advice. There's an auto help for each new technology. Very convenient. I've turned it on for you now. No need to thank me, but you probably want to change your password. My cat talks one, two, three is pretty obvious. What? He hacked me. I guess I need to change my pack. Behold the task tree. This is the map of your progression in the game. Vertical progression stands for story quests. Horizontal branches are optional. Icon colors stand for different types of machine learning texts used in respective tasks. Um, the test tree. This is a map. Okay, cool. Spanish school, cat meow. Uh, good day, we're from a public school. Some exam of end results are attended. Uh, could you process them and predict which of the students will be able to enter MIT? Proceed. Okay, let's do that. See these colorful geometric shapes that represent various kinds of data, data numbers, letters, and elements of images. In modern world, in modern world, everything can be turned, what? Can be turned into data. A yeah, machine learning is all about sorting and interpreting data. Okay, that's fair. There's, there seems to be some typing mistakes here. Long story short, that's an interesting phrase. I like that. Uh, that's a good phrase. Your goal in the game is to transfer data from the left part of the screen to the right. Oh, okay. Something, something, something. Yeah, it should be like something, something. Um, these bars show the minimum amount of data that needs to be processed to complete the task. So, okay. Okay. Um, So we have output stream one and output stream three. So the first one makes me think it's gotta be output stream three. You shouldn't just be sending data from input to output, you know, come on, let's sort some data. What are you talking about? Um, uh, green, no, hold on. Blue, we'll go here, test one. We're getting a lot of fail here. Okay, that's good. All right, stop. So now let me do green. All 
Let's try this. Uh, green blocks. We're going to output stream one. And else is going to stream three. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so that's working. Oh, we seem to be getting some sort of, we're getting some errors. We are actually getting some errors. Release the program to complete the task. Okay, a really success. I made 350 cat bucks. Uh... Task tree, okay. Cat speech recognition, 8%. Recognize the cats and pictures, great. Okay, but we need the cat speech recognition, so 8%. Um, so this tells me, ah, uh, this is what we, we're, we're learning bits and pieces here. Okay, so this is great. Um, well, you know what? I think this is a good place to stop. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, while true, a learn. There you go, the cat translation game. But really, it's a game teaching you about uh, machine learning and coding. That kind of thing. I think that's cool. I like that. <laughs>